Hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, first of all, warm welcome to OIC training by you know, Geeks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable embedded file server in OIC. Okay, so first of all, before I show you how to enable a file server, let me talk about what this file server is all about. So many enterprises have a need to uh, have a need to build file-based integrations. Yes, all of us know that we are moving towards a real-world integrations uh, and like a more real-world integrations and a file-based integration. But there would be some use cases where still file-based integrations make sense. And wherever there is a need to exchange files, there has to be a secure way in which clients can exchange the files. Okay, so uh, earlier there was uh, uh, earlier there was a no file server option available in OIC, and when there was no file server available in OIC, clients had to rely on a public SFTP servers, or they used to use their on-premise SFTP servers, and to connect to those on-premise SFTP servers, there was a requirement to use a connectivity agents. And it had it, it had its own issues. So what Oracle did is uh, starting with uh, a generation two release, Oracle started offering embedded file server, a file server embedded within Oracle integration cloud instance. And it will not be enabled by default, same as Visual Builder that we have seen in the previous video. It would be disabled by default, but you have a file server provision. And if you want to use the file server embedded within OIC, you can turn it on from OCI dashboard. I'll show you how to do it in a while from now. But this file server, yeah, once you enable it, it is as good as a as an SFTP, as good as any other SFTP server. Uh, meaning you can connect to it uh, using any SFTP client such as a uh, WinSCP or etc. Or you can also connect to it using any REST client as well. And uh, the way we use a file server is uh, in any integration use case or in all the integration use cases wherein there was a need to uh, process files, read or write the files. In such cases, in those integrations, you can use FTP adapter, which is uh, out of the box adapter. And you can use FTP adapter to connect to this file server and you can and once you establish once the connectivity is established between the integration work area and the file server with the help of ftp adapter you can pull the files from file server into integrations and you can also write the files back into the file server and this embedded file server it is tightly coupled with oic and it gives uh, clients that extra uh, level of confidence that extra level of confidence with which they can place the files in the file server. Uh, uh, otherwise, they would have to rely on other public SFTP servers that are available in the market but to place the files and uh, use them within the integrations. So with this background, let's go ahead and see how we can enable file server in OIC. First of all, let me show you how it looks like uh, when you get a new OIC instance. So if you go into OIC, and if you go to settings, that's where you can access file server from. And click on file server after that. And you notice that this feature is disabled. Pretty much similar to Visual Builder. So it's not enabled at the moment on this instance. So to enable it, you need to log into OCI dashboard. So copy the URL. And let me show you from the sign-in page. Enter the cloud account name. Continue with single sign-on.
and you go to the platform and solutions solutions and platform rather go to application integration and click on integrations and open the OS instance dev OS instance and you notice that the file server is not enabled yet so if you want to enable it you just click on enable and it asks for your confirmation and you, once you enable it you cannot disable it after that so I think twice before you do that and if you're sure that you want to use enable uh, you want to enable file server click on it and you will notice that the OS instance restarts and when it gets updated and the file server will be provisioned or it will be uh, rather activated it will take a few minutes so uh, let's wait for OS instance to come up Yeah, we can see that OAC instance has come up now. And uh, you could see you could also see that the file server is enabled. And if you go back and sign out and sign in back into the OAC instance, let's go into settings, go to file server. And you no longer see that error, that file server is not enabled. You click on it and you go to settings. You will be able to see the SFTP server uh, details. Okay, you will have an IP address and you will have a host as well. And you will be able to see the status of it. And you get a 500 GB free space. Okay, so I'll copy this IP, SFTP server address. Copy it and you can use any SFTP client. So you can use a WinSCP or, or anything of your choice. Connect to that host. And copy the port number. Note that it's not 22. Usually the SFTP servers will have a port of 22. And you need to enter the username and password here. So the username and password that you need to use here will be same as that of the OIC instance. Then save the connection. Okay, let me just save the password as well. Okay, connect to it. Click on yes. Okay, it looks like I need to reset the password. Just give me a minute, guys. You are not able to log in here uh, because you have not enabled this user at, uh, in the file server. So if you go back to OAC instance and you go to a users tab and you see that there are two users, but none of them have been enabled to use a file server. So you need to explicitly enable users uh, so, uh, so that they can log into the file server. Say for example, I want to let this user uh, log into the file server. So you edit it and then you enable him to use a file server. Cancel it. And you notice that Prasad at directunogeeks.com user is now enabled to use a file server. So if you go back into the instance or if you go back to SFTP server and try to log in with the credentials, OIC credentials, and sign in. You should be able to sign into the instance or sign into the SFTP server. And in this SFTP server, yes, you can create folders and, and you can uh, ask the client to place the files in here from the, uh, and you can directly read files from this SFTP server, embedded file server in the integration flows that you're going to build a later on. So you're going to build the integration flows here, right, in OIC. And in those integration flows, wherever there was a requirement to uh, build a file-based integrations, you can pull the files from this embedded file server. Okay, so this is how you enable file server in OIC. In OIC, starting from version two, there is an embedded file server that's, uh, that's available by default. But it will not be enabled. It will be available by default, but will be disabled. You need to explicitly enable by logging into OCI dashboard. 
open the OAC instance, enable file server, and wait for OAC instance to restart, which will take close to 10 minutes. And after that, you can verify if the file server is not is enabled or not by going into the settings option. And after the file server is enabled, you also need to explicitly enable users to be able to access the file server. So you go to file server, go to users, and you need to explicitly enable users. And uh, if user one at the you know, tries to log into file server, he will not be able to. Okay. Yeah, thanks uh, for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle integration cloud training by Unogix, please call us on this number, 73960 or you can send us a WhatsApp message as well. Or you can drop us an email as well if you want, uh, info at the rate unogix.com. If you want to check out the course content, please do visit our website. Thank you.